Hi, I'm Marshall Cutchin with MidCurrent. I'm here with Kara Tripp of Danzel Fly. Uh, or I should say damsel fly fishing, excuse yep, me, did correct. I get that right? Yep, okay. damsel fly fishing. Great. And now you uh, are a Montana native. Yes. And uh, you nice. and your sister started yeah. damsel fly fishing yeah. uh, three so, years ago? Um, about 2015 is when we really put things into action. Interesting. So so obviously you weren't happy with what you were seeing out there in the market. For, exactly. For and women. then, you know, after all those you know, fishing and guiding and instructing, and le like living, breathing, um, the fishing industry, and the ideas is just always kind of in the background. So, so in the products, you're like, they're, they're, they're very design focused. Is that, right. a, is that a fair thing to say? Like, yeah, like it's all about pattern and color and mixing and matching, um, you know, so that you can bring your own style to the yeah. river. This is our Because most, most fly fishing gear is like really boring looking. So it's exactly. like you designed to be same. dull, right? Right. Yeah. Grays, blacks, olive, which we do have. This is our male part. <laughs> That's the male side. That's the male side. <laughs> this is the fun side. When you're out and you're guiding and things like that, the ideas come in. So one of them was with sun gloves. I was having a hard time with uh, the fabric rubbing on my calluses mm -hmm. and um, and then always taking my gloves off to handle fish. Um, so I started talking about this design in my head with um, another female angler, uh, her, my our friend Annie. And she ended up sewing uh, kind of like a prototype for us. And so I wore it all summer and um, just kept working and tweaking the design until we came up with this new product, it's called our um, Sola Sun Glove. But anyways, the idea is that it loops on your thumb, your pointer finger, and your pinky so that you can have... So you can stage. actually get a grip, yeah, a you grip can on a grip the fish. Yeah, yeah, right. And not only that, but like, most importantly, keeping that slime yeah. on the fish and not taking their protective slime off. Sure. So you can get sure. your hands wet and, and handle your fish without that clothing or cloth taking off their protective slime so interesting um, and then wash your hands I'm sorry but it, it seems right. like you know like leather palms they yes. get wet they stay wet they stay wet right. and they're like it's just not great for the fish this might be a little yeah. tight these are the smalls so the best part it's 50 uh, 50 UPF so it's gonna be protecting your your hands so you, know, yeah. you do 170 days a year out in the Sun a nice long, I don't know what you yeah, call that part of the glove, of right? The, the cuff. So when you reach for a fish yep. and your sleeve you're slides up. You're not exposing your. Very Anyways, nice. Anyway, so I'm very, we're really proud of it. I think it turned out really well. Our, it, our entire business, everything we do, we do all our own product design. Um, we do all our own sourcing. Everything's sewn in, um, in Montana. So we're able to do like small boutique runs, change out pattern designs. I mean, just offer kind of a. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's almost like a, it's craftsman. You're craftsman, kind of a craftsman. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. More boutique, I guess, yeah. than anything. Yeah. Well, it's great talking to you. Thank yeah. you so much for your Marshall, time. Thank and, you. Yeah. Really and nice uh, you. people can go to damselflyfishing.com to buy yes, your products. Please. And uh, anything else that you want to that you want to tell us? You got any new new products? You get, you're always thinking of new stuff. Always thinking coming of new out? stuff. Yeah. Um, but then it wouldn't be a surprise, Marshall. Okay, I get it. <laughs>